Welcome to the Today in History channel, in today's video we will talk about the day. February 25, 1991. Iraqi withdrawal from Kuwait. During the Ottoman Empire, of which it was a tributary, Kuwait had been part of Iraq's Basora province. From the beginning of the 19th century, the United Kingdom began to exercise its influence and, at the end of the First World War, Kuwait became a British protectorate. In 1938, important oil deposits were discovered, the exploitation of which was granted to British and American companies. Kuwait gained independence in 1961 and since then, neighboring countries, eager to seize their resources, have claimed their territories. British troops and, later, the Arab League prevented its annexation by Iraq, a country that never recognized its independence or the borders that separated both states. In 1980, Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein declared a war on Iran, which ended eight years later with no winner. After that, Saddam demanded, in compensation, that the Arab petromonarchies forgive their foreign debt, increase their quota of oil production and facilitate the creation of a deep water port in Kuwaiti territory. The negotiations failed and, ill-informed about the attitude that the United States would adopt the American ambassador in Baghdad declared that Washington would consider a conflict between Iraq and Kuwait a bilateral problem- dash, on August 2, 1990, Iraqi troops invaded Kuwait. That same day, the UN demanded that the Iraqi army withdraw immediately and unconditionally, and the Arab League condemned the invasion. For days later, the Security Council enacted an embargo against Iraq, on the 25th, he authorized the use of force to compel Iraq to withdraw its troops, and in November, he set January 15, 1991 as the deadline for the evacuation from Kuwait. In August, American and British troops took action on the Saudi border and, later, after serious discrepancies, the Arab League decided to send troops. In an attempt to curb the military attack, Saddam Hussein resorted to several tactics, taking hostages among foreigners living in Kuwait linking his withdrawal to the return of Israeli-occupied Palestinian territories, calling for a holy war against infidels, etc. Finally, on January 16, 1991, Operation Desert Storm was launched. 800,000 soldiers participated, of which more than 500,000 were North Americans. After brutal and continuous bombings, on February 24, coalition troops forced the Iraqi army to withdraw from Kuwait. Despite the outcome of the war, Saddam Hussein remained in power, and the United States did not intervene in the face of the repression of the internal revolts that arose in Iraq against the Hussein dictatorship of the Kurds in the north and of the Shiites in the south. From that moment on, Iraq was subjected to a UN sanctions regime conditioned to the dismantling of its supposed chemical and nuclear weapons construction potential, and part of its northern and southern territory became a no-fly zone patrolled by British and American planes. After the Gulf War, the United States' absolute leaders of the coalition stood out as the only superpower after the Cold War. The international community and the UN Security Council showed almost unanimity when facing the crisis, which led American President George Bush to proclaim the birth of a new world order. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article, give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.